growing up, I didn't really like school. I thought I was just going to be a bludger. My experience with school was pretty rough. In, in year seven and eight, I didn't know what HSC was. I started kind of messing up. I just saw myself going in and out of different schools. I was very defensive towards authority. I'd never showed up to class, never did my schoolwork. I didn't like school. I had been at a Sydney boarding school, but I think by the time I'd arrived there, I had a few uh, habits um, which didn't fit in. I got expelled and um, I was placed by my previous school to John Byrne. It was to uh, prove to my original school that I was capable of coming back there and showing them that I was a new kid. In year 10, I came to John Byrne. I was here for a full year. The study, the way it was structured here, um, it was just being spoken to as an adult. I felt more inclined to perform here and to show people that I wasn't a washout or I wasn't a problem child. I just, uh, just needed the right environment. Well, throughout the one year that I was there, I started to realise that there was hope for me. I showed tremendous improvement, so that allowed me to go back to my previous school, just starting new, starting fresh. I've always wanted to do stuff that had to do with sport. Last year I got my Cert, cert 1 in sports training, so I'd say next up would be go to TAFE and get my Certificate 2 and 3 so I can start training. I started at Meadowbank TAFE and I'm doing my Cert 4 in youth work. I hope to be that person for someone else that I had when I was struggling and I just hope I can see a difference in, in people's lives. I like to work on cars with my dad because dad was never really around. He just teached me a lot about cars, bikes, anything with an engine. We just fixed it pretty much. With Qantas, they offered me an engineering traineeship. I'm learning everything to do with mechanical, plant mechanics. After that two years, there's a possibility of getting a job there, a full-time job. I'm the head chef of Granger & Co in Notting Hill. Without that pressure that I think I probably would have been put through or felt, you know, year 11 and 12 and possibly going on to university, um, you know, in another school, I don't know if that's sort of something that would have benefited me as greatly as my, you know, year and a half here. I don't think I'd be where I am now without John Byrne because I simply just lacked the, the control and the skills. What I've achieved now in the past year and a half, no one thought it was possible. And so now I think everything's possible. I'd like to say to John Byrne and everyone there, thank you very, very much for everything that you've done for me. Without you, I wouldn't be where I am today and I'm really grateful for it, thank you.